consequences. So if you, if you want for blacks to be respected anywhere in the world, you're gonna have to be serious about black prosperity. En masse, not just a few people, Oprah over here and somebody over there, uh, 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 no. We as a group have to be a critical mass of prosperity across the board. And because we're talking a critical mass of prosperity across the board, it means black people everywhere in the world. But guess what? We in Africa happen to represent 90% of the representatives of a black race. So you cannot be serious about black, black lives mattering without being serious for Africa, uh, the one billion people in Africa that are black, and for them to have access to the free markets, and yes, fossil fuels, so that they can rocket you know, up prosperity-wise. And the resources of the young people, the young yes, minds. So that all of these young people, young minds, can finally manifest their greatness that I know they have, and that they're showing you us every day despite despite the obstacles. That's what we need. Senegal becomes rich, and Senegal can become and will be richer than France. The colonized Singapore did it, we can do it. Mali rich, Nigeria rich, functioning as well. Mali, uh, Malawi rich, Tanzania rich, Uganda rich, Zimbabwe rich, Niger rich, everywhere rich, prosperous. As prosperous, if not more prosperous than, than, than Switzerland or Singapore, or the US, I don't know, or the Liechtenstein, or Luxembourg, places that have no, um, you know, um, uh, resor uh, resor natural resources. We become rich, and you watch the world having a very different uh, relationship with us. That's the only time we will command any type of respect. That's when people, even the, our, our common psyche will change even about black people. All of the stereotypes that they have of us is gonna melt away. And you may still not like us, but you will still respect us because we are a force to be, to yeah. be dealt with. And yeah. only economic power does that. Yeah. It would be nice, of course, for us to respect people because they're people. It would be nice, but let us not kid ourselves. This is, this is Earth. And someone said, you know, Nice people will make it to heaven, but not to Harvard, necessarily. It's true. It's interesting that uh, pity does not ever turn into respect. It would be nice if it did. It would be nice, but it doesn't. Prosperity is the Prosperity only thing. Prosperity is the only thing. Respect. And the way we do that, there is no... Just like all of us humans have to, inge have to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide... That's a human way of breathing. You bring me on, on but you want to be foolish and be like, oh, well, <coughs> sorry, that's how white people breathe. So as black people, we're going to have to do something different. Well, good luck with that. Right? Yeah. So this is here why I'm saying I have no patience for Black Lives Matter. They're making a mistake that was made 60 some plus years ago. Even more than that, maybe even 100 years. You know, when we were siding with a Marxist socialist, because they're the ones who've been fighting for equal rights. Let me ask you, though, about racism. Do you, as you travel through this world, as you travel through America, feel the burn of hatred? Um, you've spoken about the revolutions that have been fought throughout the 20th century mm -hmm. against racism. Mm -hmm. But today, as People talk about educating, reminding the world with uh, even with more philosophical ideas of critical race theory, for example. Do you think this is still a battle that that needs to be fought at the forefront of culture in, in the United States? Um, does racism exist? Yes, it does. But all forms of isms exist. Some people, it's about various forms of ableism. Others, it's about size. Um, and racism, yes, is one of them. Does it exist? Yes, it does. But is it what's going to stop anyone from manifesting their greatest potential? I say no. I say no. Many people in this country have showed it. Whether they're African-Americans or African, African immigrant, I'm an African immigrant, 
You have African Americans like Oprah and others, and other people even before her, who, despite the nastiness around them, were able to make it. So we do know, especially as black people, but I think it's humanity as a whole. And that's what I love about the human spirit. It's resiliency. But resiliency only can happen if you don't allow yourself to be beaten down and to lose your, your self of agency. It's, of course, easier said than, than done. And some among us need a little bit more help to not succumb for it than others do. And I've seen it, it, it might be harder for you if you're somewhere in a, you know, um, inner city, um, you know, inner city black America. Maybe the environment might be a little bit tougher um, for you to try and get your act together and all of that stuff. And it's okay. But even in that situation, we need to, um, I think it's important that we still do not rob you of your agency. And this is where I am mad as heck against those who supposedly um, care and there I 